Hello everyone, it's Lorraine and today I'm coming to you with my nail of the day video and this is the design that I created and I am extremely pleased with how this turned out. Um, this was the first time using one of the scene, true scenic images that were on the Dashika Beauty Shop image place, the Infinity Nails lines place. Um, I have a few of them that have that like it's a super wide image with just like a landscape image and I but I will say I've been kind of afraid to use it just because I didn't know how well it would line up and just how well it would look. But I decided to use one. I'm using one that my friend Mitch sent me in gift mail. And I used that one because that was the one that I had out and ready. And I didn't, I had already painted my nails and I didn't want to dig into my um, binder with all my nail plates. So I just figured I would use that one and it had the scenic, it's like an entire plate of different sections of scenic images or landscape images so this is what I did and I am very pleased with how it turned out like it flows really nicely um, across the nails and I'm just extremely pleased and the only thing I wish I would have done differently was to use different colors because of the that it's like kind of a landscape mountain-esque thing where like the I guess the sun is kind of setting I initially started out in t thinking about using this like nice coppery kind of orangish color and had I been thinking and I didn't know what image plate I was going to use prior to my to picking my colors but if I had known I was going to use that image this Part would have been great to do this at the top of my nails or the base of my nails and so it would have looked like a sunset a true sunset this would have been perfect but I still like the finished look so um, let me just first insert my clip of what items you will need to do your actual stamping okay so I'm going to go ahead and get started with my stamping and before you get started there are a few things you need you will need your stamper oh, sorry your scraper which I need to clean um, your cotton ball saturated in pure acetone to clean off your image plate this tool is called, tool is called a cotton claw and I got it from Sally Beauty Supply you will need your image plate this is from Dashika Beauty Shop the Infinities Nails line your stamping polish this is the new Bundle Monster stamping polish and um, to clean off my stamper I'm going to be using just a lint roller this um, helps save your um, the surface of your um, your stamper by using that instead of acetone and so let me go ahead and tell you the um, individual items that I used so I'm still using my um, julep oxygen smoothing base coat and as you can see I am probably like you know a third of the way through the bottle um, I've only had this again I got this at the very beginning of the month today is June the 19th so like I mentioned I don't imagine that this is gonna last pretty well so I think I'll probably get um, a few or more uses hopefully this will not thick, get thick and gloopy like the original oxygen nail treatment with the pink tint um, that one got gloopy as you got just below the J and julep so this one is a thinner formula but it looks like it's thickening up as you can see um, it's not really moving that much so I'm gonna have to get through that quick so just if you do use this once you open it just continue using it because I think if you don't and you leave it sit it will get really really thick and gloopy and really uh, ridiculous to try and use it so the base colors that I use they're both by color club and they're from the halo hues 2013 collection I believe and this one is eternal beauty number 999 it is a purple holographic and it is what I have on my left hand on my thumb my middle and ring thing in the pinky finger and then I just did the opposite so I did every other nail a different color so then on my right hand my index and ring finger is in the inter eternal beauty and then so on the other nails the blue nails is over the moon and this is number 997 and that is what I have here very very nice 
absolutely love Color Club um, holographic polishes. All of them are fabulous. And so before I did my stamping, I used my um, Julep Oxygen Performing um, Top Coat. And then for my stamping, I actually used the Bundle Monster um, stamping polishes that I received from my friend Mitch. Um, in case, I know I didn't say this and I was so excited about what she sent me that um, I just said they were nail lacquers. They are actually stamping polishes. Um, so the Bundle Monsters are stamping nail polishes. And I thought this was black, but it's actually a really, really deep purple. So I intended to do black over this, but I will say it stamped really well, picked up perfectly. There were no patches, no ball spots. Um, I was very pleased with this. This is number 10. And so I have no complaints about this one at all. And then for my final top coat, I again applied my Oxygen Performance Top Coat. And I want to say, um, one thing I don't like about this is I can't tell how much is left. I can't see the level of it. And I feel like I'm almost out because I was having to tilt the bottle to get enough on my brush. So, and as you can see, um, I don't know if you can really see that, it's getting like kind of stringy a little bit so um, this again these are half of what you would normally get in a regular size nail polish so you will go through this pretty quickly especially if you're doing like I do where I apply two layers of top coat so you might want to use this sparingly maybe just use it for your final top coat and not if you're stamping not the in-between top coat just to make this last a little bit longer but I will say my manicures have been lasting me at least seven days when using this I am very very pleased with it and it didn't smear my image whatsoever so I'm extremely pleased, just wish that Julep would create um, larger bottles of polish. That's my only complaint about the Julep polishes and the fact that I can't see how much I actually have left in the bottle. But overall, this is a really good polish. And lastly, for my stamping plate, I am using um, my Dashika Beauty Shop um, stamping plates and this is their Infinity Nails line and these are a lot of the images on there are kind of landscape or scenic images um, or larger images a combination of various images and this is the image plate sorry I didn't clean it off but what I used was this top part here which is basically the mountain scene with the stars and the I don't know if that's the moon or the sun I guess the sun setting um, or it could be the moon considering there are stars I don't know but um, so that is the part of it I got didn't really get much of the trees I just got some of the tops of some of the trees but I am extremely pleased with how this turned out and I'm going to be definitely doing some additional scenic images um, with for my other using some of my other scenic images because I really like how this turned out so um, L and this is plate number 58 from the infinity nails line so that is everything that I used. Um, let me know what you think about the design. Have you tried any of these scenic images? What did you, you know, how did you feel like they work best? Um, I showed in the stamping part that it's to line them up. It's kind of better to leave the polish on there instead of cleaning it because I actually didn't have any problems with it picking up. And again, um, some of my other Infinity Nails plates, they were etched kind of weird where it was kind of rough and I didn't like using a cotton ball because it just collected a lot of hair and using the makeup sponges were best with the other ones that I have but apparently I don't know if it's the later collections after number 50 or whatever if those are etched or cut a little bit better where I can use a regular cotton ball and not get an, an, a massive amount of hairs caught in the image like I did with the other ones that I tried so um, again check out in the stamping portion it I do go over the best direction to do for each hand as well as how to get them to like almost like overlap and pick up from one nail to the next so thanks for watching sorry this is so long but stay polished at all times leave your comments below and have a great day bye
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with my stamping. And um, I don't know how much of the image, like I have not done one of these actual true scenic ones before. Is this purple? Oh, that's a purple. I thought that was black. Ha! So I'm just going to place them across the top, scrape down, and then um, use this to pick up my image. And then that's what it looks like. I'm going to start with my, um, sorry, I know that was so off camera. Oh, trying to hurry up because um, I did notice that some of these you can actually pick up additional sections so that didn't work so well so sorry about that so I'm going to do the next section again <laughs> thought I could move a little bit quicker <clears throat> so the thing about this one is you want it to kind of overlap or show the continuity of the image and I was so expecting this to be black. Like you can't really tell. So I'm gonna, so, I, so hopefully I can get the next part of the image. So I'm gonna scrape. And then I want the top part here. So I'm going to line it up and roll it over. So there's that. And with the images, the way they are set up, you kind of want to do the right side of the image on the left and then do the and go across that way. So one way to keep track of where you're at is to not necessarily clean your plates. So I do want to pick up this middle piece again here because the part with the moon or the sun is off on the edge, right off of my nail. So I do want to pick up that piece. So I'm just gonna go across there and I'm using way too much polish So I want to definitely pick up that piece. So that is that. So I'm going to line it up, press and roll. So that applied really nicely. I didn't get it. I needed to get less. And so this was more on that side. So it kind of like flowed across, but oh well. That's just gonna have to have to do and then so I want to pick up a little bit there Is that so that one worked out pretty well where this is off the edge and I got just a bit of that one so this piece flows really really nicely and so the last piece is going to be more of the stars and this is whew, super messy I wasn't expecting this to be purple so that's that, and so I'm gonna put that on my thumb. So that's what that looks like. So I actually really like how that does. It kind of does almost, if I would have used the other color that I was thinking, it would have really looked like a sunset because I was actually going to use this orange color with the blue, but I thought the purple and blue would just look better, but this would have looked perfect because it would have almost looked like a sunset. So that is what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my nails and I will have pictures and stay polished at all times. <laughs> 